Thursday, August 12th, 2021. I've decided I'm going to go for a night run. Um, I haven't done that in a long time. But I've memorized enough of uh, the town to uh, feel comfortable that I know where I have to pay attention um, to places where I just, yeah, you know, where the road is uneven and there are little divots and so, yeah, you know, I've just memorized and uh, so I don't accidentally step in a pothole or something or, you know, twist my ankle or have an awkward placement. So, you know, it's something I'm just unconsciously always doing is just memorizing my surroundings. Never know I'm gonna, when I'm going to be without a contact or, you know, something like contact bothers me or falls out or I don't know. So it's like operating in the dark or blindly. It's like just, you know, but for my contacts, it's like, hmm, I would not be able to function very well. Um, that would need to be led around, basically. But corrected, 2020, I'm just like everybody else. The imitation of healthy eyesight, or functioning eyesight, I guess is the word. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, and uh, it, I, I am leaving it up, um, but, uh, you know, the, the last... Uh, entry was real. And, you know, I wanted to you know, see if I could draw, co coax it out. And it's like, yeah. So it's like, yeah, those thoughts are, they're just, they're pretty much always there. And it's just, do I let myself uh, feel them or not? Um, and it's not about, uh, like right now, it's like, yeah, I still feel those feelings, but it's like, they don't do me much good, you know, just actively feeling them right now, you know, so it's not like suppressing them, it's just more just, I'm not act, I'm not currently doing anything about it, so it doesn't really require me to analyze and engage that side of myself, um, I can just uh, let it be for a while, and then look at it again, and see if it holds true over time. And, uh, yeah. So this one in particular, the one from yesterday, it's just kind of uh, gathering um, momentum. And it hasn't reached uh, impetus. Um, so it's not quite there yet. It's getting there. I have different markers. And the uh, we're just, anyway, I'm, yeah, I'm not staying in this apartment forever. That's the thing. It's like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out. One way or the other, something is going to happen. Not because it has to, um, just, I, I cannot stay here forever. I have to go somewhere. It just, just cannot be here. <laughs> uh, for multiple reasons, but just for myself, for my own peace of mind, that, Yes, I, I did. Yeah. It's, it's been long enough. Um, cloister, cocoon. Um, so. And I do want a cat. That is important. Um, making room for my life. Making room in my life um, for what is important. Um, you know, and, you know, and being more responsible. You know taking care of life and, you know, taking care of uh, commitments, responsibilities, obligations, all that stuff. Um, you know, not just the stuff I write about, but the stuff that, you know, um, all the other stuff too. Just everything. Just being present in my life and just, you know, being ready for change. Um, being capable. It doesn't mean I like everything, of course. And things catch me off guard and are surprising. 
but then letting it's like okay well I, you know I, there's lots of things that surprise me but you know what it's because I don't know everything so it's like of course it's going to surprise me so when things happen it's like okay let's deal with it now like how it is you know I, I, I couldn't have known so I can't feel bad about it you know I can if I, if I haven't been made to know something or if I've been you know, even just kind of made to know something in a roundabout way that I just didn't catch or pick up on. I don't. I'm. I don't feel then therefore responsible for the knowledge. So now, if somebody tells me something directly, and I, you know, then that's different. I guess that's choice. Uh, presented with a choice, I can make informed, better choices. But. Uh, you know, but if I'm not being presented with information in a way that I can, you know, I understand, it's like, well, I might not even recognize that there's even something there to, am I making a choice? What? So, anyway, so as far as I know, I've attended to everything that needs attending to, and I am settled. There's nothing waiting on me, um, besides just basic maintenance of my own life and you know being just continuing to do what I do for the people that are around me that I are part of my uh, sphere um, of accountability I guess people that I care to include um, in my life which isn't very many people like less than Just a, not very many people. It's easier to say it that way. It's on purpose. Um, I mean, not that people, there's, there's not like a line of people that are like, really want to get to know me. It's like, well, I don't, I don't know how things work with me. I just, I don't encourage people to ask. I, I'm open to people asking me questions, but then I don't, I don't converse with them really. I just want I'll, I'll answer your questions, but I'm not. I, I don't. I don't ask them questions back. Or it's like I don't have a curriculum or a standard operating procedure about these are my getting to know you questions. I, I don't even know how that works. Like how do people meet people? I, how do I? How have I ever met people? I don't know. So I guess I approach people as they approach me. You know, just reflect off them, like, because I don't know how to, so, something like that. I, everybody's different, I guess. I just try not to be different to, like, cast, um, it's like, like, I will read them, and, you know, it's like, oh, I'm getting, you know, so I will, you know, it's like, hmm. So, trying to be the same person for everybody. So it's like, really want to encourage people that uh, are just, I just always, you know, I already kind of figure that we're not going to get along. So it's like, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try to encourage you. This, like, I'm not going to build up a false character that you might like. It's like, no, no, I want to make sure you don't like <laughs> So I, I don't want to waste your time, and, uh, and I don't want you to, yeah, so, anyway, I'm not for many people, and not many people are for me, I don't think, not in my opinion, because I just find, um, it should, I think it should be a, a, a some sort of mutu mutuality, like, like, uh, or it's like, I just know that so many people I just feel drained by all the time. And there are other interactions where I feel better, you know, for having spent time. I mean, enough time, more time, wouldn't be too much. But, because uh, I do like my escapes. Um, but like with Barbara, it's like, you know, those little encounters we have for like two hours. That's enough. 
that's enough of being around Barbara. And I'm sure she's the same way about me. That's enough of being around Eric, because he goes places. And uh, some of the places she cannot, you know, she doesn't understand, and that's okay. And I can't explain it, and that's okay. So just it's not disagreements sometimes, but uh, it's just uh, just differences. So, but I did feel better about you know yesterday and uh, having her give me my token and the words she said, and the words I said, and the words that other people said. Um, so, being a character in the lives of some of the people around me, and, you know, I've been around some of them for a while, and they're still not exactly sure what to make of me, and I do not. Um, they just get what they get, and uh, I guess that develops a, uh, a kernel of uh, reputation. People like, yeah, that's normal. That's how he is. So he won't explain it. Um, and if he talks to you, then he talks to you. If he doesn't talk to you, don't take it personally. He just doesn't talk to that many people. Don't be offended by his actions or inactions. He isn't paying attention. You know, and I'm not paying attention uh, in the same ways to the same things as what I think a lot of other people are. I just notice different things and I'm noticing them deeper and differently and just, or not, I don't know. I only have just, so it just seems like other people are just so interested in other people. It's like, I mean, while I'm looking at a wall, it's like, huh, that wall's pretty interesting. And just, you know, yeah. it's, it's in, I, I guess it's, it's somewhere, everything is, it, it's described is uh, somewhere across uh, the writings, somewhere across the videos. It's all, it's all there. So it's like, I don't hide it so much. I'm trying not to be hidden, even though I'm completely hidden, as far as I know. I'm working on that notion that, you know, I'm just working in silence, speaking uh, in silence to a wall. So, and any, it's just purely accidental, and uh, I don't need to pay any attention to that, because this is just freely available for anyone to look at, but no one knows about it. And to me, that's, I don't know, uh, therapeutic. Um, just knowing it's out there, and uh, so it's scary too, because there's a lot of other things out there too, with less. Uh, I don't know. It's not a safe place. So anyway, but I haven't had any cause for a long. And if I see any cause for alarm, then I'll just shut down everything. Simple as that. It's just how it is. How it's gotta be. And it won't get lost. Nothing gets lost. And I'll just place it somewhere else. I'll find other outlets. You know, I always do. Well, now that I'm discovering that I can, you know, this is something that I like doing. So... And there's always different levels of you know, encryption and things like that. So, security, safety, anonymity, that kind of stuff. But anyway, the night is escaping me, and uh, the dawn is approaching. So, I should probably get to it. Because um, it really is, it's getting, it's getting to be like quarter after four. And sunrise is now, the earliest sunrise got around the solstice was around like 6.18 a.m. And now uh, sunrise is already uh, as late as 6.52 a.m. So 
I'm getting the days are shortening on both ends. So I like that. It's still like 80 degrees outside though. It's still hot. But, um, so I, I still have time. I'm not like in a rush to get out there and beat the sun. And I can hear cars outside, so it's not like I'll be alone. I just have to be more aware that they are not expecting anyone to be out there. So it's like I need to take more precautions that uh, I am no one. You know, so I am the pedestrian. I do not have right of way, even though, you know. So I guess I should get to it. Uh, the last time I went for a night run would have been in Morgantown, West Virginia, like 20 years ago. So, it's been a while. And it's not going to be that long. Just, no, we'll see. But, I don't know. I'll see where my feet travel me. So, anyway, I guess, uh, I should go. The main point of this was to uh, acknowledge the last video and to uh, start burying it <laughs> further down the timeline because uh, mm, it didn't. It wasn't pretty to be there, and um, and I, I can't be pretty to watch. So um, don't and uh, and no comments. Just, just don't. So, anyway, I don't think I have to worry about that. So, okay, off I go.